let me say that there are so many, as I look around, there are so many people to thank. So many people made this possible. But let me tell you, you made history tonight. <clears throat> you made West Virginia made history tonight. <clears throat> Nobody has ever won. Nobody in the United States has ever won in a state that the president in the previous election won by 42 points. The opposite party wins. Never happened. Never happened. This is a win for West Virginia. This is truly a win for West Virginia. I want to thank, as you know, my family, Gail, my children. We've got Heather. We've got Joseph here. We've got Brooke here. We've got our, our, uh, all of our spouses. Our, um, well, they're all of our children, really. We've got Jeff, and we've got Trace, and we've got, where's Marshall? All of them. We've got, and we've got all of our grandkids. Let me tell you this was about, about our seniors. I've never had more of a commitment to any group of people than the senior citizens of West Virginia because they've earned the right and the respect and dignity that this state should always give them. We're fought and we will fight. We will not let their Social Security and Medicare be tampered with. I can assure you of that. And anybody that has a pre-existing condition, I will fight with every drop of blood in my body to make sure you're protected. Let me say that I never expected this race to be the national race it turned out to be. I never expected President Trump to come to the state as much as he did, sending Vice President Pence, sending his family time after time after time and you stood tall. What you said, what West Virginia said loud and clear tonight, Mr. President, we want our senator, not your senator.